Hi guys, so it is the beginning of November and for all recent graduates and finally students that can only mean one thing. It's time to send out those freaking graduate scheme applications for the fall of 2017. As I'm someone who's originally not from the UK, I find this whole thing really weird and puzzling. Like, why do you want to apply for a job that's going to start in a year's time? Like, I don't even know what I want to do in a year. I might not even live in London. No, I'm just joking. Of course I want to live in London. So, for the reason of me wanting to stay in London after my graduation, I've been applying for grad schemes, like thousands and thousands of other people and students. And because of these thousands of other people, these schemes are extremely hard to get onto. So far, I have applied for nine grad schemes and I have got rejected from six. And these six that I have got rejected from, I haven't even gotten like through the interview stage. I've just failed straight after situational judgment tests. However, I still have three more companies I'm waiting to hear back from and they're all listed here. It, this is like the number one tip. Always write down the places you apply to, otherwise you'll forget. And that's really unfortunate. Anyway, so I'm still waiting to hear back from Sky, Eon and Daigo. Daigo? So, like I mentioned, I'm still um, waiting to hear back from uh, three companies and let's, let's just really hope that I can score even a one interview with these companies. Guys, I just scored my first interview. I've been applying for so many grad schemes and now Eon got back to me saying that I have a telephone interview on Tuesday, which is basically four days from now. I, I don't really know anything about this industry, so I guess I need to do so much research during the weekend. So I'm currently prepping for my interview for Eon, which is tomorrow. And this is a tip I got from a recent graduate who got a job from BWC. So if you're doing a telephone interview, you can kind of write a script. So basically what I did here, I checked all the key competencies, kind of gave examples of them. I wrote notes about the role, about the industry, about challenges, about the company as well. And tomorrow, when I have the interview, if I get any hard questions, I can just go back to my notes and kind of read it from there. So I had my telephone interview with Eon yesterday. I felt it went okay. Um, it wasn't my best performance, but it wasn't my worst either. However, I definitely think that the script I showed you guys earlier really helped me because there was a couple of times my mind just went absolutely blank and I didn't really know what to say. Um, however, in the interview, um, the interviewer basically said that I'm going to ask you questions about leadership now. So when I couldn't think of any examples, I just went to my script to the section where I had written examples of leadership and I just literally read it from there. So it's I really recommend it in case you think that there is a possibility that your mind is just going to go blank in the actual interview. However, within my interview, I think I didn't give my 100% because just the day before the interview, I found out that they don't have any job roles in London and as staying in London after my graduation is my top priority. I didn't really want a job anymore so I kind of just took it as a practice interview which is quite helpful. I, I never think you can have too much um, experience in interviews so hopefully this will help me in the future.